welcome back to my channel we are decorating the coffee station i used to have this in a different area in a piece of furniture and it was a little bit different but this was the area where i used to decorate it before so now we're coming back into this area i'm also sharing with you guys this easy and simple way to style your tear tray this is a little bit more different just because this tear tray it's not flat so i have to put some bases on underneath so that way i can give height to my decorations like in here i'm only adding two mugs and i'm not decorating it all the way to the back just because this is going to be in a corner so i didn't really saw the need of putting it uh items all the way to the back if it was like for the middle well that wouldn't be a little bit different but in this case i'm gonna place it in this um coffee station but in a corner i'm also adding this uh web so that way it could look more creepy i'm actually going to go more towards like skeleton style even though i love witches and i'm adding a uh, witches theme onto the coffee but for this um tear trade i'm doing all skeleton putting my two raid done mugs uh which surprisingly these are the only ones that i have i'm adding this uh straws and this stirrups that i did had it from last year i picked those up at target last year and since we didn't use them i still have them so i was like okay that's perfect for the decorations and i do use it once in a while but because the straws are paper um they don't work that well with the hot coffee i'm adding this twinkle lights that i picked up at the 99 cents only and also adding a few spiders onto the whip the lights and the spiders were the ones that made it a little bit more creepier i'm gonna add this black uh, cloth creepy cloth underneath this is just a piece that i used from last year and i did pick up a few more pieces this year but i didn't see the need of putting a bigger one now i was gonna go towards the black and white only but then i had this uh pieces that are orange and i wanted to give colored into this station that's why i added the mug and also that uh pumpkin that i picked up this year at big lots now for the other corner i'm doing it more towards the witch i am adding this witch from last year in this frame that i picked up at target this year and also also uh this bats that i did diy i also do have a video on how i did the bats in case you guys want to go check that out i'm going to link it down below i did um made five different bats but for this station i only put one um design and added this double-sided um tape dots that i picked up at the dollar store they were a little hard to take it off and at the beginning i was really scared that they were going to come off or that the paint was going to come off but nope they actually do work well they're not too sticky because one of the bats from the top kept falling down so i had to switch it to a different one i switched the cauldron that i added at the entrance of the house for this one and also added web around it and i'm gonna dim the light on here so it could look more darker and this is how it looked decorated all creepy and cute you can still see light just because i had the led lights underneath but like i said i did uh lower the brightness from it so it wouldn't look more more bright and let's start adding the items that would definitely make it look like the coffee station i'm using this jar that i picked up at um home goods this year and um on one of them i'm gonna add this marshmallows that they have a pumpkin design i picked them up at walmart and right now that it's like the season they have this uh cute designs in it i was gonna add the little tiny marshmallows but i thought this was that they were perfect for this station and then on the other one i'm adding this abuelita chocolate this is perfect because you don't have to make it on the pot you just heat up the milk and then add this it's like the hot cocoa but with the flavor of the abuelita chocolate now i'm gonna have to buy more packages because they are really really good and we'll be drinking it like non-stop and we just picked it up on friday so <laughs> i'm gonna have to pick up another one on the other one i was going to put this um hot cocoa packages but then 
I made the decision to put him on the cauldron. I really didn't know what to put on the cauldron and I was going to add other uh, things in there, but I thought this, this was perfect because since I did add the Abuelita Chocolate in one, I didn't want to put this one over here. So they're more accessible, especially Ivan loves to drink hot cocoa. And then you will see that I added some wafers on this jar, but later I had to switch them because they weren't, the jar wasn't able to close down because the wafers were a little bit taller. So now I had it to put the hot cocoa like in the middle. And then I think that the wafers were on the top to make it more easy to grab for the kids and then the marshmallows kept on the bottom but i had to switch them from jars because the bottom part it's a little bit different than the rest the other two and then the other option that i was thinking was to put the wafers next to the coffee maker but i just didn't want them to be open wide and that's why i had it to switch them and it's just more easy and accessible for the kids because the jars are glass and they're easy to break and i just didn't want them to have any accidents i also did added a few um milks into the new pumpkin that i bought that pumpkin it's like super creepy and cute i was looking for the pumpkin uh, spice flavor i the hazelnut it's not one of my favorite ones i do drink it but it's just not one of my favorite ones but i wasn't able to find the pumpkin ones and since I didn't want to buy the big, big one. This is all I found. And then I added this uh, instant coffees in one of the mugs. And then this frame that I picked up at the 99 cents only. The instant coffees are perfect like this. When you don't want to use your coffee maker, you just add hot water and then the coffee and it's easy. And then the jar looks much better like this because it has brown in the middle and then orange on each side. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm so happy how it turned out. It's to me, it's creepy cute because it's not too, too bad. But then you can still have that uh, witchy vibe and then the skeletons. I hope you guys found some motivation in here. And if you did enjoy this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you're not part of the family and I will see you in the next one. Bye.